okay guys hey next part of the video i did last just now so yeah i'm showing this just said i'm gonna get like things that match the puppy the puppy the dog whenever they get older so i'm gonna get a harness that matches and a vest convertible i think i'll do a lot of vest convertibles i don't know why especially when it comes to the anime sets because sometimes i want to have like a cape them wearing a cape and then sometimes i just want one them wearing a vest or i just want them wearing the harness so yeah i'll probably get a naruto one to match um this so yeah this is in my closet i'm gonna get one to match the my hero one and then i got this bag for the puppy especially when i go and get them tell her this is tell me this isn't cute this is actually a damn baby bag so yeah this is what is it called i kept the thing it's called petunia pickle bottom it is the pivot backpack if you guys can kind of see pivot backpack um it's the disney baby one they had a cinderella one as well but i didn't get that one it doesn't look like this it looks like, like a regular backpack um these things originally cost like 190 they don't sell the pivot bag anymore it's a different one same pattern but a different one i paid 40 dollars for it but on their website and wherever it sells like 190 i was like what but yeah, my mom helped me pick this one out because uh, I love Disney Princess. No matter how old I get, I love Disney Princess. So yeah, I got this. I already have some of the puppy stuff in here. And I said um, when I go on the plane or even when I drive to get them, I might. Because the breeder I picked on their website, Garland Ridge Collies, that's where I'm getting the puppy from. On their website, they're like, if um, you, one of the questions is like, you know, you have to come down to get the puppy. And it's like, yeah, you can get a nanny to bring your puppy to you. But if you go and get the puppy, it'll be um, 200. You have to give them a uh, extra $200 because it takes them like two and a half hours or something to like drive to the airport for you to give them their puppy while you could just drive to them on their farm where they're at. So I, th I haven't discussed this with my mom, but I feel like I'll want to drive there in Wisconsin i feel like i'll want to drive just so i don't have to pay an extra 200 dollars and stuff i feel like it'll come out cheaper maybe i'm thinking like the 200 dollars i would give to them for them to drive to the airport for me for them to give me the puppy i could pay just that the money the 200 dollars will go into like gas money and food i would need for myself so regardless this is either going to be used for me to take on the plane to get the puppy or when i go drive to get the puppy i'd rather go down and drive because i don't want to pay 200 dollars you know, it's just for them because the, it's for their gas and whatnot, which, you know, it's fine. Um, there's this little, like, clip on the front. I said I'll probably put the um, collapsible water bowl and stuff on there. There's a zip here in the front. There is, like, two pockets. Is it two? Oh, no. Just one pocket on this side to put a water bottle. There's, like, a strap. So you could either pull this up and you could wear, like, a bag over your shoulder or you just wear it as a backpack. And then... Oh, there's a zipper here on the back that opens like this so remember guys this is a baby bag and technically i'm getting a baby aka puppy so so i think it's cute and cool and i could use this even when they get a bit older like with me my bag is a bit bigger because i have to put more meds in there and stuff for myself and emergency things so this would be good for me and the puppy when we're especially when we start doing pa like when i have all my medication in here what i need when i'm going out with my mom and stuff and i'm bringing the puppy i could fit you know treats some food um some toys and things like that a chew or something or whatever a little bone or you know a little standalone toy for them wherever i go and things like that so yeah i'm gonna open up the front part of the bag first and then we can go in the bag so from pet smart because they really 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 need a puppy collar because this is what i was going to use when i go get the puppy this because you know it's just a simple i just wanted a simple collar nothing yeah. excuse me nothing major or whatever um this is my second time getting a puppy with coconut first dog you know you, like like when you have a child you make all your mistakes all your things with your first child when you have a second child you're a little bit more equipped of what to do and what not to do. Same thing with the dog. With same thing with the dog. Your first puppy, you make all the mistakes, what to do, what not to do. Your second puppy, of course, you'll still make mistakes because every dog is different. Every puppy is different. But with, you know, normal stuff, you're like, okay, you think you got the hang of this. You'll try different things because I know this, whatever puppy I'm going to get is going to have a 
probably have a different personality than coconut coconut's personality now that he's eight is he's more mellow he still has a lot of zoomies he's mellow he still has a lot of energy he's eight this man has arthritis you wouldn't think he does um he hasn't been on any arthritis medi art arthritis medication for like a whole year because i ran out of the one i bought off of amazon and i didn't get a chance to get it again and afterwards he was like still hopping and stuff and whatnot and he's fine now he's he's not on anything and he's not hopping or doesn't look like he has any kind of arthritis so whatever i'm doing is great and i took him off the ghost milk because he he was like 19 pounds he was getting fat so i put him on a diet on a sense i stuck i cut out the ghost milk completely now he just eats his dry food and um i've been giving him his um the codfish chews um i've been giving him that as a snack every now and again and he gets like two cookies every now and again when i feel like he you know wants a treat or whatever i haven't trained him like what three months because that's me because i haven't been feeling good but every now and again i'll like scratch myself or you know do certain things to see if he still remembers and he does which is good he's been doing dpt and lpt all on his own um our bond has been very our, our bond has gotten strong he follows me a lot more <laughs> than usual and he's listening more which i like and his barking he's still barking a lot and i'm getting the hang of it he's listening to me more and more when i tell him quiet and the thing is anybody else can say quiet and he's not really listening but the moment i say quiet i'm like coconut like i raise my voice that's the thing with the collie i don't want to raise my voice because they're a sensitive breed so that's the thing i have to like be careful because one thing that works for coconut will not work for the other dog well coconut he distinguishes the, the sound in my voice like i can be talking to him sweetly and nicely but the minute i raise my voice to a certain pitch or anything he knows i'm serious and he snaps into it he's like okay i gotta stop she told me to stop let me stop so for him that works with the puppy especially a collie they're sensitive so yelling and raising my voice probably will not work so i need some tips and whatnot to try and you know because i'm not going to be doing that with a puppy especially because it's going to be a working dog and stuff like that and the thing is um i know they're, they're they're still dogs and i want them to have an outlet something i never got had for coconut because coconut doesn't have any dog friends um he the last time he went to like a doggy daycare he was three he's eight now so yeah i don't know when he gets when the dog gets older i want them to um be in some kind of sports um i've always wanted to try dog sports especially watching akc and stuff like that like barn hunt fast cat um i want to try dog diving with them i see some collies don't really like water but i want to try dog diving because i think that'd be a great outlet for them and stuff like that so you know i want i want to do a sport that wouldn't be too taxing on me but i want to be able to have the the collie the dog be able to like you know have an outlet besides doing service work and when they're off they're being a regular dog i want them to have something else they like and doing and that's fun and that'll keep them engaged you know it's just something different you know so i want to do something different for them especially this is gonna be my first purebred dog and stuff so i'm excited because you know what to expect with them so i'm, I'm excited to get into this new breed because i never really in tune myself with rough collies and stuff but i always knew lassie dog i've never even watched the lassie movie but yeah, I'm excited because it's a new thing. So anybody who has rough collies out there, whether you're a service dog, hell or not, let me know, like, you know, different things. So yeah, I simple collar. This will fit them, but I don't like the color. Uh, I'm thinking of selling this and just getting a different biothane one because I want to get them a biothane regular quick release collar. And the collar I do have, the collars I do have that are biothane are not quick release. They're like regular muggle ones. But I got this one from PetSmart. It's the top paw one. It's size is, it's a medium, 13.37 to 20 inches. So I got them this regular pink PetSmart one. So whatever I put in this bag is for when I go and get the puppy. So yeah, this is the one I got. I haven't even showed this on my TikTok or Instagram. So you guys are the first to see it. I'm going to try and post this after I record my videos after i finish recording i'll edit and then um you know post it this has a cute like little like rose gold heart but yeah this is a quick release button buckle i mean collar so yeah this is the one i'm going to take when i go with them because ew whatever neck size they have i know they have fluffy necks even as a 
puppy so this will fit them whatever name they have once um the puppy i pick out whether girl or boy um you know i'll get a tag made for them it'll be on here and then when i go pick them up they'll be wearing this so this is going to be the color they probably wear the most while they're you know little but i want to be able to switch between each color this is the one i got because it's sort of kind of like biothane i'll i have the i have this same one in the blue and the green for coconut because this was coconuts at first and this kind of collar is the only kind of collar he'll tolerate wearing like he doesn't mind me putting it on and he'll play walk around eat with it he doesn't care that it's on so I, now i know he doesn't because i have like cloth ones coconut doesn't like cloth that's i found this out like how old i found when he's when he was seven then i found out that he um seven no when he before he turned eight last year i found out he does he, this is the kind thing he likes i guess because he's sensitive around his neck his neck is really fluffy sometimes even when his hair is like low on his neck he still doesn't like the cloth ones but this one he'll wear like this is what i put on him when i trained him a lot so i guess he got used to me wearing it and i rewarded him when he was wearing this when we were training so i guess he associated you know this with whatever not the cloth one so he doesn't like the cloth one so i really want to get him wait where is it so i put this one on him and he didn't mind it and i want to get him a quick release buckle biothane um collar for um coconut i really want to get him one so that's the reason why i want one because i want them to get different to feeling like cloth and biothane now that i have this this is like a neo something something it's not biothane it's like completely different so yeah, I want a different color of this, but I think I should sell this first and then buy the collar. I promised my mom I wouldn't buy anything else, which I, like, actually legitimately not. I promised her that, but then the thing is, I sold the harness, Becca and Raven one, to buy an in-training harness for the puppy, which I did. I'll tell you guys. I keep saying I'll tell you guys, and I didn't get to tell you guys yet. But yeah, excuse me, I'm gonna pick up the puppy in this, but... I do want to get them a quick release one, a quick release one. I have ones that it's actually you have to buckle it like a belt. I want to get them a quick release biothane one. I know it's like, okay, just keep, just, I know some people probably be like, you know, keep this. You already bought it. Just use it for the puppy. They're going to outgrow it anyway. And I'm like, I know, I know. <sighs> I know I'm weird. I should probably keep it, right? I don't know, I get a little. I'll think on it. But yeah, this is in the front of the bag I have. Um, what else is there? Not nothing in the front. I know in the inside I have stuff. Uh, and the bag on the inside, sorry, looks like this. There's an, there's a big old pocket here in the back. I don't know, what, you know, really goes in baby bags, like diapers, bottles, pampers probably applesauce and all those little baby stuff so what i have in here for the puppy now is this leash because this is the leash i print leash i plan on taking when i go to get the puppy um i know like regular leashes you get from the pet store should be a good one too which i will <laughs> i will get i will get one i'll probably get the one that matches the same flower one i they had it there today but i didn't get it um coconut has a long red one i think it's like six foot or something like that but yeah but here is this is the one i'm gonna take with me when i go get the puppy that's because this is gonna be used when they're in when while i'm training them anyway um what else and the two harnesses i plan on taking um one is this one this is the first harness i bought for the um the puppy when i still thought you know poodle but this should it should fit the puppy the collie puppy i've been seeing the um one of the litters they had in i forgot when they had it last year um they all went home this weekend all the puppies went home so and i be and i'm seeing them how fluffy and big they look and some of them look big some of them look skinny and i'm like oh but floof will this fit i don't know i would hope it fit this is i threw away the box thingy and i made sure to put the measurements on here i'm a very organized person i gotta like know the neck size is 12.6 and the chest size is like 15 to 21 and the other one i have is this which matches 
like not like i have i have the leash that matches this i have everything for this collar harness leash the leash is unopened i'm thinking of selling it because i have coconuts blue one like for coconut i have this i have this in medium which is coconuts one i have this one in the blue which is coconuts one these are all coconuts and then coconut has the um blue leash that i was using while i was training him but i've been using this green one while i was training him because i could put it around my waist so i'm actually like no hands like no hands i have the large for the green one for when i get the get the puppy okay but yeah i have all these for the puppy i might keep this for a little while you know it would look cute if they're wearing this and this together but then this looks oddly shaped on coconut and he hates this with he hates this with a passion like when training him i wanted him to wear get used to wearing this harness the blue one but he doesn't like it. he didn't move and nothing he doesn't like it and the thing is his foot keeps coming out of it so i think for him it's very disproportioned so i don't know if it's going to be very disproportionate for the puppy as well i know i'm going to get a rough wear because a lot of dog owners get rough wear for their dogs and the thing is i'm in the collie group and a lot of them like their hair gets tangled really quickly and easily in certain things so i'm like i don't know is there anything else in here that i needed to i mean that i put in here oh and there's a um diaper thing in here and when i saw this i was like mom guess what i really want to do with this and she's like you want to turn it into a vest i was like mom no i'm not destroying this this has like little that's like shoe rose like, look see little apple seashell tiara shoes rose it's so cute i was like no like if we go if we're gonna fly with them and i have to i have to, have to take them out of the carrier for like a second or whatever or if i go in the bathroom and they have to use the potty or something they can be on this because i know they won't have all their vaccinations i have to be very 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 careful so like I see some people would like, have like blankets or pads or stuff like that for when they have the puppy out in the airport waiting, you know, to board their flight or whatever. So I said the puppy would probably be a little bit smaller than this or maybe just as big so they can put this on the ground. I could probably put a pad on top or whatever just in case they have an accident so they can lay down on this. So this would be and while we go out, if we go to public, you know, places, I could put this on the ground. Of course, they'll all grow this. That's a, that's a definite will outgrow this but till we outgrow it and i get like a um, not a snuff in that a regular like blanket thing for when they're out that'll work so and then what else on the inside oh yeah this is where the diaper thing is there's another thing here and then there's another thing here so that's all for the bags and those things um what else do i want to show you guys of course there's other stuff to show you but wait i have to get to the part oh where is it 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 where are the measurements for it hold on guys i'm trying to find the measurements for ah there we go i'm trying to go in order of like things i bought so remember i told you guys about the um the harness i said i was gonna remember i go in the last last video one this summer i made i told you guys i was getting i wanted to get from lily dogs here before they close i wanted to get a pink yellow and blue wi front harness i got it i ordered it i got it it's so gorgeous oh my gosh like like i said i was gonna get it and i was like the colors and everything if you guys go follow me on my instagram um what is it called my jungle adventure partner you guys will see it see it um I, it's in my highlights i think of gear and i think i posted it too i forgot there's a lot of different things i was supposed to post and i just put it in my story a lot but yeah here it is yeah so the measurements i used for this was one it was like a purple and teal one that said in training on the side if you go on their store on their um feed thing what, what is it called their page if you go on their page and you scroll all the way down you'll see it and you'll see the size that's the sizing i used for it and the thing some of these things that i bought i bought in mine for the poodle and i was thinking like oh my gosh will they not fit and i actually wrote down like the collies um like i have it here in my book their measurements like their chest shoulder and neck size and stuff like that and their girth so oh i have the girth right here oh i forgot i wrote it down so the girth is 23 okay hold up so 
so a collie's girth is 25 to 35 inches or they're female or male um the chest is 16 to 24 shoulder is 22 to 26 and their neck size is 18 to 22 the neck is big i'm thinking like because of the hair and all that so yeah the girth for this is 23.5 to 33 it'll fit and the chest size is 13 to 22 it'll fit so regardless it'll still fit so this is neon pink vinyl we have yellow webbing and then we have aqua writing so this this is gorgeous like i love how thick it is it is so good remember what i'm showing you here for what i want to what i want to show you next you'll understand my way of why so yeah this is what it looks like there is a chest plate i didn't know there was gonna be a chest plate on it the only thing is with a wire front i know what the wire front looks like you know has the sternum here in the front and then there's the y and then usually there's this here this is velcro this is velcro this is cute because this says service stock on it so this will be good for when they're older the funny thing is i already got all their set a set for them when they're like older and big but i don't got no puppy stuff so that's the thing that kind of conundrum me in my head but yeah but the thing is they can also wear this when they're growing and i'll just get in training patches for here so from here to here it's all velcro the only thing is i didn't know when she when they were holding it like this i didn't know that there was this long piece of velcro in the middle and i was like okay that's not what i want excuse me for when they're growing i'm on a regular wire front excuse me because i know with the wire front it's you know shing shing then it's usually this here that's how the wire front goes but this is different oh and this is a pull strap which is 21 inches long and you know cape earrings here buckle here so on and so forth so this is really really well made and i can't wait for them to be able to wear it when they're big enough so yeah um mm, yeah so this is from lily dog gear and so this is for when they're an an adult so yeah i got a another wide front harness i got it from virgo dog co i just got it from um i just ordered it from a sale because they went on they're taking a break for a little bit because they're doing something else but i ordered it um i said i wasn't gonna order from them till the dog is bigger because they're kind of expensive so their collar base price $30, their wire front base price is $75. For the Beck and Raven that I got, the Beck and Raven one I got, it was $72 pre-made. And I ordered a wire front hybrid from them with CB, with CB handles. So this is what it looks like. I designed it myself on my Canva. Because remember, pastel is their vibes when they're growing up. So yeah. This is a wife front hybrid from Becca and Raven. The girth is 25, the shoulder is 12, and the chest is 10. Can I get these numbers myself? The largest it goes to is 28. The smallest it goes to is 18. The smallest for the shoulder is 9.5. And the smallest... Oh, no. The largest it goes to in the chest is 12.5. So, yeah. I actually got this with the collie in mind. So yeah, I wanted this to say in training. So it says in training on both sides. Um, has a CB handle that I got because I want them to get used to the, you know. I've seen a lot of different handlers buy different things for the puppy when they're small. My mom was a little bit not mad. She told me to stop buying stuff for the puppy because, you know, she's like, she kept saying that she's like, first of all, you don't know. She's like, wait till you know what you're getting. Um, How big is going to be? When you're going to get it? And I was like, mom, I already know what I'm getting. I told you this already. And she's like, yeah, but, like, you know, stop buying stuff until you get the dog. And the thing is, I'm buying, I bought certain things. I bought certain things for the dog. Like, for me, I'm the type of person, I'm a very, very cheap person. I like buying things on sale, clearance. I wait for a sale for it, even if I really, really want it. Like, I, I have a list of things I would like. Not want, I would like. And, you know, I save, I save, I save, I save. And if I see, like, the shop I want to buy something from, they're having a sale. Like, buy one, get one free. And buy it or if i see they they're usually priced thing that's expensive they cut down the price or whatever then you know i buy it that's how i do things and that's fine because i'm a cheapskate i don't care but yeah oh on this side i bought from daiso they had um 
um my when i saw this it didn't come with this clasp it just it's a key it's a keychain i put this clasp on there the class i had um my mom was like you want this for the dog don't you i was like yes i said i could use it for traffic and i wasn't gonna use it for traffic because this is not strong enough to get traffic tape. but yeah yeah this is for this it's so cute um uh the pink patch is so nicely it's so cute but yeah pastel dream so yeah um mint i did not know the mint was gonna look like this i thought the mint would look so much cuter but it did so yeah yeah it's mint with purple webbing white and training with yellow hearts i wanted with the cv handle she didn't follow my instructions i wanted here the vinyl i wanted it to be light blue with pink she, the only thing she got right about this was the pink i wanted it light blue and the thing is the first thing i ordered from black and raven was pre-made right so i so when in the website where it says when you're you're done or whatever like you put in your instagram so they could like send you a picture or whatever i thought i'm not used to buying custom stuff i thought that you know like with some shops you know you sh tell them what you want or you show them like a sketch a doodle or you know a printed version of what you want and then they do a mock-up of it and they send you the picture of the mock-up for you to approve before they make it i'm thinking that's what becca and raven do no you tell them what you want you order your stuff boom they make it then they send you a picture of it i'm looking at the thing the day she sent me the thing in my dms and i'm looking at it and i'm like why does the cb handle look like this and i'm looking at it and i'm like i thought this was supposed to be light blue it's not like a big thing you know but i wanted this to be light blue because i was trying to do different different pastels trying to do like you know mint purple pink light blue but they didn't do it i didn't correct them it's fine it's just a cv handle it's not the end of the world for it but yeah i wanted this to be blue and i didn't know they didn't do that i had a lot of tough time trying to figure out what i wanted blah 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 and the thing is on their website they don't really have a lot of um how do i say this i'm not bashing back in raven i'm not doing that i'm just giving a review on how my experience was which is good they, they answer they're very polite they're very kind you know they helped me and stuff because i was asking for like different you know when you ask some shop owners you're like you know how does this look what's the color of this and stuff or they have a lot of the all their options or whatever they offer you they have it on their website for Becky and Raven, they don't have everything like mint vinyl. I she when I asked like, oh, can I see like a picture of the mint vinyl? She's she said like you have to go through her whole page and see like if you find a mint vinyl or whatever. So I had to pick out like I had like fifteen photos of different colors of stuff. I had to like pink webbing is a thing that's a lot on her feed. So I had already that mint vinyl. I had to go all the way back, scroll down to find mint vinyl. I had to scroll down to find this purple vinyl. I had to scroll down to find a lot of stuff. So that wasn't on their website because i wanted something specific so yeah and they didn't listen to my instructions for the blue thing and the other thing is is this work work with me here like just stay with me here okay good i'm gonna show you this remember i showed you lily dog's gear looks beautiful it's crisp it's clean it's clear it's thick perfect right beautiful great work with me here i did this on my tiktok too i didn't post that one yet but look here i'm not i'm not expecting everybody's different like you know it's it's good everything is perfectly in line with one another everything is the same size it's great everything's great i'm not expecting it to be thick like lily dog's gear not not expecting that at all even some of the the letters like the thread like the i in the end the thread down here is connected on lily dog's gear is not is that what i'm thinking about no no that's little minor stuff little minor stuff now you see how everything is in line and everything is the same size here on this side it's different look the t and the r the r is humongous It's not the same size and when I was looking the threading on here like the threading is already coming apart like look on the T it's fraying already and look they could have gone over more times like look the A is kind of fading but the thing that got me the most is the R the R is humongous look 
normal big so this is huge and i was like what the heck i was looking at it i was like why is the r humongous and then with the a and stuff you can't like the a is fading and the t the the t the the, the thread is already coming off of the t mind you i don't have my service dog anything it hasn't been worn by a dog like i mean i mean used used i put this on coconut to try he he was sitting on my chair i put it on just to see what it would look like on a dog did it fit no i just want to see it's been on my wall untouched nothing's been on it nothing you know but how can everything be already cut i don't know if you guys can see like the thread is already coming off and i was watching another handler where they were like beck and raven is good but the quality control of them isn't all that you know Am I saying this is a horrible piece of gear and I don't love it? No, I'm not saying that. It's a great piece of gear. Even if I haven't put it on my service dog yet, it's a great piece of gear. The CD handle is sturdy. Hardware is good. Everything's good. It's sturdy. It's great. The other thing that was kind of off to me is that when it came under here, where the sternum is, there was a lot of thread all over the place and I had to cut and try to like tighten it so it wouldn't unravel and unloose. I was saying to myself, maybe the sewing machine was giving some kind of trouble like you see here like can you guys see it i don't know if you guys can see it but the thread here is already unloosing and i have to be very careful when i cut the thread and how to like pull it and fix it so that's why so when she had said that i didn't even understand until i got this in the mail and i was like okay that's what they meant by when they say quality control so yeah i want i got the first wife and harness from back in raven it didn't have all this and the other thing is that there was no, um, I would, I would have liked if they would have sent a mock-up or a preview of what it would look like. So then, you know, I could approve it. I would like to, you know, approve it. So I was thinking, you know, it's my puppy. It's whatever they're going to grow out of anyway. Just get another wife front harness from them. But I kept looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, you know, and I'm always the kind of person that always bought cheap, cheap, cheap stuff. Even with my makeup, I bought cheap stuff. Mom said, pay good quality for things you're going to use. And I'm going to be using the, har the harness I ordered from Virgo Dog Co. It's going to fit them till they're an adult. I made sure the size I did would fit them till they're an adult. An, an adult. So I ordered a wife from harness from them. It was a lot of money. But that's fine. It's an investment in my future. So, yeah. This Y this Y front hybrid. It's cute. It's one of my favorite pieces of gear. My favorite is the Lily Bell's gear, of course. But this is cute. This is gonna be for when they're a puppy. So whenever it stops fitting them, then I could sell it. So yeah, this has C V handles or whatever. It has the um cape strings, but this is for pole straps, I know. I don't have my pole strap from the Becca Raven one, but I'll probably buy one whenever from them. So, yeah, threads loosing and everything, but it's fine. So, my review from this, minus me having my service dog, is that I give it like an 8 out of 10. It's nice, but the quality control, as another handler said, is not all that, but it's okay. Would I recommend you buy and get from them? Yes, yes, I would. It's fine. It's just that for me personally, I wouldn't get another, like, you know, big piece of gear from them i would buy pole straps guys. okay sorry i would get pole straps from them and stuff but this is absolutely adorable and so 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 cute and i was thinking they were gonna post this on their like page and they did today like a month later which i didn't know but this is so cute and i love it though i love it like you think i don't like it i love it like look at it it's cute and this goes with it they're gonna be wearing this like this keychain is gonna be on it they're gonna look so cute and then i can't wait Okay, those are two big pieces of gear I want to show you anyway. There's a couple more things. Just hold on. But yeah, the white front harness I ordered from um, Virgo Dog Co. I had like a whole bunch of different ideas because I'm still, it's cherry blossom, but make it pastel. So when I ordered from them, this one for like two, they went for like two days trying to get it. So um, on the, what is this called? The sh on the sternum. I want cherry blossoms, so it's going to be like pink vinyl with mint webbing and um, 
fun. Um, I'm going to get CB handle on the white front harness because I want to be able to... I didn't order a CB handle from them because I have this one. So I can just put this one on the harness whenever it comes so they can get used to it being on a white front, not just a hybrid. You know what I mean? And I was debating because CB handles are like an extra $6. And I was like... But I was like, oh, they're going to be wearing this for a while. So I want them to get used to the feeling because I don't want to have a white front harness. And the only time they get to like have the cb on their back i'm not gonna be using it the only time they get to have get the feeling of a cb is when they're only wearing a hybrid because they're not gonna be wearing a hybrid all the time and they're not gonna be wearing white front harness all the time but when they do have a white front if i want them to wear the cb handle just so they can get used to the extra little weight on them I, so that's the reason why i ordered it and i got it saying in training on the side it's gonna say in training and then on both sides it's gonna have a um cherry blossom and yeah so it's gonna be cherry blossom themed and it's going to be i didn't get minky because remember i told you i don't want minky again i was going to get a minky collar but i was like nah so i got vinyl so it's going to be the same pink vinyl with mint webbing and it's going to say service dog on the on, on the collar it's going to say service dog but on the wife front harness it's going to say in training so and i got it so it could fit them for a while um this i this is the other keychain i got from daiso this one i put on my captain K9 attire one um it's a green it's cute grass little kitty thing with little flowers it's cute and then the other thing i got i got from mountain dog gear okay so i got a collar and tropically from their last one of their sales they had um and i also ordered i didn't mean to order it i meant to ask for because i was gonna get the the 10 foot leash from misty dog gear but i didn't get it because i had bought their um what was it the last sale they had i bought something it came in like two days ago but i was i didn't buy it from them and i know miss mom dog gear you have to like like dm them to ask them for a, um like a different size because on their website they only do six foot or six and a half like bulk so i just wanted to ask for a quote but i didn't ask it the right way so they thought they meant i wanted to buy one i had the money for it so i bought it so it's gonna be the main the the main color is gonna be light blue, and then the accent is gonna be what is it raspberry. I already know what it's gonna look like, but but I'm gonna show you guys. This is part of the adult gear. So I bought a double layer collar. You ready for it? So we got pastel pink and raspberry for their double layer collar. This is for when they're big. That's for when they're big. I bought this in mind of the collie. This is. Way after I, like, after I, the poodle, mm, this is, like, rough collie. So, yeah, this is the double layer collar. It's so cute, and it's so durable. And then I got a traffic lead. I wasn't going to get the traffic lead, but then I was like, yes. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, this is the traffic lead. It's eight inches. It's so cute. Um, I'm getting mad excited here. So, yeah, this, this is what it looks like. This is what it's supposed to look. Tell me this isn't cute. And guess what it's supposed to go with? tell me tell me this doesn't oh i should get this as like a snapshot i don't know what is it called i don't remember but yeah this and this goes together tell me it doesn't let me get let me hold it so you guys can get the better effect of it tell me the pink matches the blue matches so this is gonna be their their gear for when they're older this is why i said i have adult gear for them i bought gear for them for when they're full grown i didn't get anything for them for when they're a puppy how is that's reverse i didn't the thing is i didn't realize till after i got all this and i saw this together i thought to myself i was like you got adult gear for them but you didn't get anything for them for when they're a puppy like what um i can't see so yeah, this is their adult color traffic lead i will be using this traffic lead like when i they're growing up because i'm gonna be using it with the collar i'm collar with the leash i'm getting so this is gonna be used while they're a puppy but this is their adult gear and the cape i'm getting for them that's gonna be when they're an adult and they had their full grown adult size then i'm gonna get that cape but that cape is so it's so good like i'm gonna i'm gonna start posting my like vests or whatever or patch designs on my instagram and maybe on my tiktok to see how they look but yeah, yeah this is for them and the last thing i'm showing you guys um is the puppy collar i forgot uh i forgot to tell you guys this i bought or did i tell you guys this already i don't know but i bought a service dog and training p and l vest with a matching leash wrap that's gonna come in february sometime mm, it's gonna look better it's gonna look more it's custom custom it's actually custom custom like a customized whole thing 
myself and this is a sneak peek for when i have it and then i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like but these are two of the colors that are gonna be on this is gonna be the main colors of the this i got from misty dogs gear when they had their sale and stuff i bought this from them and i wasn't sure the things before i bought the vest i was like oh i don't know i'm saving blah blah the minute i saw this it was like should i get it i've, I've been praying on it like gosh should i get it should i not get it and the thing is i've always had a habit of like when i see something i want i don't get it and then later i'm thinking i'm like damn i had the money for it i should have gotten it and i regret it and i'm trying to do things that i don't regret like in 2024 that's one of my things doing things that i don't want to regret or whatever or stuff like that and i always pray to god before i you know make a decision because if he doesn't prove of it, then it's not right for me, you know? And I've been on the service dog journey for, like, what, two years now? Like, seriously, on, I've been seriously on it for, like, a year. But the year before, I was, like, in and out, in and out. And then I finally was like, you know what? But, and I was praying on it, praying on it. And I was sure about the poodle. But then at the same time, when I was, like, with the poodle and I was sure about it, and I was praying about it, it was, like, a good fit. But as soon as I changed to the rough collie, before I even went to try to find a breeder or do any more information i made sure it wouldn't creep my mom out and i explained to her about the different shedding and stuff like that and she was okay with it and then she also said fine you can join the wait list or whatever because i told her the time frame because the poodle the poodles would have been born in february i think and it'll have been too soon to get the puppy but may is a good time she said it's fine because by then my brother's gonna be he's moving down to his new job officially in march so and the puppies are being born in march but they're going home may so by then he'll be settled in so and he'll have the extra room and um by then i'll have enough money to give him to like you know pay for like you know because dogs are allowed you just have to pay a money each month for the dog or whatever so i'm gonna make sure i give that to him and by then hopefully we have our place or whatever so even if i don't get the puppy to bring them up here where i'm gonna be living i'll be able to take them down there to my brother and he has an extra room so i'll be i'll probably stay down there for a while with him with my puppy so yeah and this size is uh 11 to what's that 17 or something like that but yeah this is going to be their collar for when they're going out like training and stuff and this is a double layer collar so i have two double layer collars so that's why i said i need a quick release collar because where is it look i need a collar that whoo, quick i only have these that buckle I need a quick release one for when they're a puppy. So this goes along with the leash they're getting and the vest I'm getting. So yeah, that's all I have to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, oh yeah, this also goes with this. I put this on here. I was like, yes, traffic lead. It's really cute. So yeah, let me see you guys next time. Bye.